So I was playing a game of DBD when a TikTok viewer said this. I easily escape 90% of the time. 90% of the time? I definitely don't believe you, homie. 90% of the time you escape in DBD? How, Sway? Anybody that plays DBD knows that it's that's not that's not real. People do escape streaks and don't escape 90% of the time when they when their whole purpose is literally just that. I play with a lot of tryhards. You don't think everybody else plays with a lot of tryhards? This is that's so it's an interesting, crazy statement, I'll be honest. Oh, I, I don't care who you play with, I guarantee you, you're not escaping 90% of the time. Nobody. Matter of fact, Tilted, jump on with me right now and show me how it, how it is. We're doing open lobbies. Jump, I'll literally give you, I'll escort you for free. Homie, I just want to see it. I want to see, I want to see what this looks like. I die 90% of the time? Exactly. What, what's your, what's your highest prestige? If you don't mind me asking as well, I'm curious. This is my highest? Your highest what? No, it's not. Tilted, go through all your survivors right now. Just like, go to each one, one by one. I know you're lying. From the top to the bottom. Dwight, okay, is prestige zero. Meg is prestige zero. Claudette is prestige zero. Jake is prestige zero. You lying to me right now, bro. Fang is zero, okay. Keep going, keep going. David, prestige zero. <laughs> you're messing with me, bro. Nah, nah, Ace is prestige zero too? Yo, what we should do is viewers versus viewers. Viewers versus viewers with Tilted. We're gonna do viewers versus viewers. All right, we're back now, hold on. In this match here, we have a survivor by the name of Tilted. God damn, that's not exactly what we expected off rip. It's okay. You know, sometimes it just happens if you're not paying attention. It's early on in the game. Your head wasn't in it. First down already. Let's go back and look at uh, the killer's POV to ensure. Ooh, okay. He's got another survivor in the open. Certifiably down as well. Okay. R two really, really good drops for the killer very early. The survivors just kind of were not paying attention and unfortunately are both down. Remember, we're watching this match in particular today because there's one survivor, the Alan Wake in this game, says that he escapes 90% of his matches. So we as a community are... It, we are bewildered by the fact that somebody escapes that much because not even streamers who do escape streaks can escape 90% of their matches. So we want to see what the build is like, what the play style is like, what are, what is it that we can maybe learn from this experience as well. It'll be very interesting. So let's see. He's currently, looks like he's on someone right here, but he doesn't see exactly who it is just yet. Are they running behind this rock? I think he missed those scratch marks on the right. They might have left already. We're going to switch to the survivor's POV when we get to it here. I promise you. I think he left that person instead and decided not to stay with them. He's finding somebody else here, and it is Nancy, I believe. All right, he is now following. No, oh my God. Stefano, aka Nancy, is being chased by Billy. Has to play this very carefully. You, one thing you don't want to do is get... Oh, my God. Run yourself into a corner. You can't get greedy with a... With a well-respected Billy in the DBD community like this, that save is no way it's gonna happen. It's way too late of a run. Background player should have happened a long time ago. He actually just ran away from it when he didn't have to. He still had that hook, but a smart move nonetheless with two survivors there. I think that was a, a great idea. He turned and saw the other one is here. One gen done by the Tilted himself. This is why he always wins. He does not worry about the problems of the meek. The problems of the weak. He is, in fact, crouching on top of this building like a G. But let's continue and see the next chases that are happening right now. So we have, we have brother, oh my God, brother Cage. Brother Cage really couldn't do much in this situation. I mean, there were a couple things he could have done to loop a little bit more effectively. I assume he didn't see this pallet here. Even if you have windows of opportunity, you always have to remember Find it. Find your opportunities. If you're just using the perk but not looking for where you might be able to utilize it best. And we have Tilted's first chase. Let's see what, how this looks. Okay, he's running. He's not doing a bad job so far staying alive. He's not turning his camera around enough for me. And unfortunately, he is down on the first chase that he gets within a few seconds. But it's okay. It was a good attempt. Uh, again, something like... Oh, let's see his perks, actually. I believe is that Guardian, Medal of Man. So he's coming in with the intent to take some hits, maybe. I don't know what eye perk that is. That might be... 
Kindred or something, I always forget, will make it as well. So he wants to be altruistic and save his teammates. All right, remember, that is the survivor in which says 90% of their matches, they do, in fact, escape. Let's see who he's on now. He's on Nancy. Um, what does Nancy do here? You can greet it, but you got to run. Oh, my God. Nancy playing with her life. Don't worry. This Billy does... This Billy, in fact, does M2 only, and you can see why. He is, he is, he, oh my God, the camera work. I love the fact that she's turning it around. She could have made that palette if played properly. I love the fact that she's turning around the camera. She needs to make it to that loop or any loop for this matter. Okay, okay, he might have lost her a little bit there. So, though a little bit sloppy, it did end up, it did end up working in her favor. Beautiful. I, this is like the worst side of the loop, in my opinion, to always run. It can be very unsafe. She kind of got a little bit lucky. Um, but you almost never want to run that side. The outside of a loop like that is never a great place to be. He might try to curve this around the corner. He did, in fact, try, but to no avail. It didn't quite work out for him here. The right side over here, you never want to be on that side, right? Because the killer can kind of just catch you in the open. You want to be on the side where the window is or where the pallet is, but never on the outside of that loop, so keep that in mind. All right, she might get curved on here. Oof! He curved it a little bit too wide, her first match of the day. So he's kind of just iron, ironing out the kinks a little bit. She makes it around, I believe. She does, she does. That, honestly, that um, Jen might be ob obstructing his, his chase just enough. That Jen is tip sometimes here and sometimes is not here. And it might be getting in his way just enough for him not to make it. It is so incredibly close. I have a feeling he's gonna break chase any second now. He's not gonna stay here forever. There it is, there it is. A smart Billy knows when to hold them and know when to fold them as well. Let's see how the the Allen Wake. Ooh, unfortunately, he got caught out in the middle of nowhere. He did have an opportunity to maybe make it to the pallet in Shaq, but maybe he just didn't see that it was there. Two gens got popped right now by the freaking, uh, his co-workers though, which is amazing. Hits him once. You got a breakout Sabo build going here, but honestly, you had to Sabo that first and then follow him to the next hook instead all right co-workers are going off right now with jens which is beautiful let's follow oh my god almost catches nancy slacking lacking without the blicky she sees that nancy's getting to a really good loop decides to leave it alone maybe goes for claw dead instead never mind back at allen back at allen and cage funeral once again yeah, too fast, M2 only. He is officially gone from the match. It is now a 3v1. A 3v1 with two gens left is not an ideal situation against a killer with this much ability to traverse the map. One gen left. This is remarkable considering how fast everyone's been going down. Keep in mind as well, keep in mind that we do have a killer who is not running any slowdowns whatsoever. A single, oh, did she get caught there? Oh my God, close, but no cigar for Billy. He was, he was, he was a millisecond away from possibly getting her if he's smart. Oh my God. Oh, if he had his patented low pro chains move here, he might've gotten her. Oh my God, he's gonna try to, he's, he's gonna try to go for a, a curve out here. Does he get it? Does he get it? He, in fact, gets it. One thing about playing Billy that you want to perfect is your patience. The same way that you would have patience with a Huntress Hatchet uh, throw. The same way you would have patience with... Okay, and then we're back to Tilted on the outskirts of the map. Probably looking for his next big move. Right next to Claudette. Oh, my God. He sees the pallet, though. He sees the window. He's confused on what to go for. He drops said pallet. All right, all right. Oh, my God. He is somehow having eyes on the killer. Is that object of obsession? No way you chose that perk. If so, you are a gangster, my friend. Um, especially for only having three days played in the game. All right. They're still alive. The only issue here is, though it's not the the worst, they can still get a gen done, especially with the killer not having any regression. The only problem is no one's on a gen right now. It's Dark Sense. Is it Dark Sense? I never know between all the eye perks. Oh no, another survivor unfortunately goes down. Allen is officially the last survivor left on his feet with a teammate on the hook and another teammate going down right next to the hook. He has a decision to make. Does he go for the save? Which it looks like is exactly what he's doing. Does he go for the save, you altruistic demon you? 
And you know what? He didn't make it there in time. I don't think he saw the timer and realized that he wasn't going to make it there in time. 10 out of 10 experience from the homie Hezzy. I think he did a fantastic job. Way to clutch up for all the killer mains in the chat. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful job. Give me one second. I got to turn this fan. It's so hot in here. Holy hell. This is only nearly the 10%. What I'm going to ask... Shout out to the homie Hezzy. If you guys have never seen Hezzy play before, uh, check him out on Twitch at I am Hezzy. I am H E Z Y. Homie is a disgusting Billy. Now, in my opinion, he's going against one of the most fun killers ever to go against Bubba. And with many ways to go around, you know, playing against Bubba. So let's see. Let's see. There's so many ways to defeat Bubba. Let's see if they know the, uh, they know how to. Oh, unfortunately caught in the middle of the open is not a good way to start. He is looping it kind of wide. Oh, my God. I think she gets away with murder. Well done. Okay, she makes this. All right, not, a, not too bad of a job. Pay attention. There we go. Nice camera work. You got to remember, keep flipping that camera, Talita. You don't want... You want to keep an eye on where he is. You might have to drop here or run the small side. If you drop, try to time it a little bit later than what they did right there, and you would be good. Turn that camera. Okay, you can run it. You can run it back literally the same way. Oh, my God. The camera, though. Oh, my life. Oh, my life to save the day. Run it this way and on, alongside the long side of that wall. Perfect. You could drop here. You can. You can still greet it if you're absolutely insane. All right, not a bad first chase by this team. For sure, it's going to be Bamboozle. If she makes it nowhere else, make it into a locker. Locker. Trust. If he... All right, I'm going to show you guys the timing. One. Get out. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. He has... He has extra. He has extra. Wait, what add-ons? Does he have award-winning chili? He does have award-winning chili. I was like, yo, that shit was taking forever. So it's when he goes up once, twice. After he goes up twice with his hands, wait for like two or three more swings, then you jump out. All right, let's see. We'll switch camera angles in a second here. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Tilted. Tilted just on the top of the building. Spirit Fury. No, you don't have enough time. Can you can you loop the tree? Can you loop the tree? Oh, good try. Good try. Does he does she actually get a save? Oh my god. Oh my god. And a save was had this day, but don't worry. Tilted. I escaped 90% of my matches is looking for the next best thing, a flashlight. He says I don't need that shit. My teammates aren't going down and I don't need to blind anybody. Homie knows what's up. Um does he make this window? He does. He does in fact. Uh, remember there's going to be um they're going to black. Well, watch, watch, watch. Okay, perfect. There's nothing over here, unfortunately. But he got blessed. I think Bubba, like, mind-gamed himself and doubled back. Bubba has one hand. Bubba is now using his, his chainsaw to traverse the map, which is a smart idea. A lot of people don't utilize this, this in this fashion, which I think is a really good move by him. He has batteries included. Okay, respect on this one. He needs to start getting these downs if he wants to... If he really wants to solidify this game, if he wants to drop these survivors here. Oh, my God. Does he M1? He definitely should. Definitely he should, all right? Because he's falling a little bit behind here. And it's a lot easier. Okay, let's see. Tilted, tilted, all right. Just doing his gens, minding his business. He still has a full brand new part that he has not used. He is currently in the corner of the map trying to possibly outthink, outwit the killer. The killer's never going to think I'm coming from over here, right? So let's see, does he have barbecue or something? No, he has no idea that Tilted is right here. I escaped 90% of the games. Oh, and he just got found. This is so unfortunate. There is, there is a, oop. Sped him, Tilted. Good shot, good try, good try. Only two perks? Oh my lord, I just realized, like the gangster that he is, Tilted is only running two perks, because that's all he needs to escape. Okay. All right, his first hook, but don't worry, he has two more, so a 90%, 90% opportunity to escape is still there. Let's see it. Um, all right, he's looking for his next victim again. It looks like he might have found the young Jizzle. Uh, Henato's going to save her, while Minnie over here, a.k.a. Young Jin, takes the chase. Remember, this is the same survivor that had that goaded, goaded um, flashbang save as well. I wonder if he kicks it and then comes over here. It looks like that's exactly what he's going to do. She could play the window. She could play the pallet. Good thing, like, I already like the survivor's camera work, except for there. I don't think she heard the footsteps. Uh, you might have to jump in the locker on this one. Oh, she didn't, and 
Oh my god, almost got. <laughs> kinda hold him. Kinda hold him. Kind of, kind of. Not a bad try. Not a bad attempt. It was a really good looking spin as well. But sometimes your best bet is honestly just going inside of a locker. But maybe they didn't feel that confident when it came to uh, spinning the, the, or rather, getting that timing down right, you know? Uh, all right, let's see what else we have here. We have Tilted running to his teammate's rescue. You love to see that. Uh, where is he? He's here. Where's the kill? The killer is right next to these two survivors, but does not, in fact, see them. He's probably going to the other gen just to make sure. Looks like Hinato just got caught here. Does he go for Hinato or the other one? He, in fact, does go for Hinato, who seems to be a pretty decent survivor. I like their camera work. They're doing a pretty good job with this here. They're continuously breaking away from Chase right now with enough distance so that they can actually get to the next one. I'm assuming he's going to stay here and loop this. He kept running. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, so Hinata was doing an amazing job. Amazing job. And they did a great job by running, running, running. You, Hinata had to stop at that card loop. If he went any further than that, it's it's a question if he's going to make it. And if he did go further than that, where should he have gone? The locker. By far, the locker, 100% is where he should have gone. He did, in fact, go there, and it cost him a bit. She is now out in the open. This is her last hook here. Oh, no. She has another hook. Oh, you kind of have to throw that down, work the window, maybe fake it. Just jump right back. Oh, no. So you might have to go inside of the locker here. No, you make it. You make it. So watch, 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 watch. Okay. Good camera work allowed her to survive here. Great job. Great job. Two gens left. One, one um, co-worker on the hook. Another one might get pushed that was doing this gen. Oh, and unfortunately, it's our boy. 90% of the time. And he's down again, unfortunately. Not much to work with. Maybe he wasn't aware of the killer's terror radius in that general area. He's definitely going to yeah. get get put in basement. Somebody's in there. He was aware that it sounded like there was a survivor that was in there. And what he didn't want to do is possibly give them a flashbang save. So, really smart move by Bubba to walk away from that. He is now following. It looks like the Hinato again. Hinato being on in his final hook here. Let's see if he leaves the greed behind him in his last possible 60 seconds of life. Oh, no. He doesn't, in fact, leave the greed behind him. And what he does is he continues to WK. Does he loop this, drop this, or what? He loops it. But he doesn't realize. He doesn't realize that Bubba has award-winning chili. As well as that second add-on, which is the green one, that makes it that makes it so that uh, he moves faster and has more time. Doesn't he have dead heart? He in fact does have dead heart. Maybe he forgot he had it. I'm not sure. Maybe he thought he still had it off the record. I'm not sure why he didn't actually use it there, but he might have done an uh, what is it inconspicuous action to get rid of it, whether it's doing a gen, healing a teammate, etc. He might have done that and maybe forgot that it negated it. Maybe ping as well. Could be that too. Oh my god. And he also gets them. That's the 90% of the time tilted. Uh, escaping is down again and, and gone from this match. Two matches where he doesn't unfortunately escape. Solid effort though. Really good try. Two survivors left. One gen. One killer. Let's see what happens here. They're getting so close. I think this is still, believe it or not, a doable match. All you need, there's still a plentiful pallets. Right? There's double P's in here. Plentiful pallets. All you need is one person. You got to make it to that window and vault it immediately. Turn your camera. The right side. Okay, perfect. You have life. Really good. Now the question. Oh, he moonwalked it to the back side. Did he moonwalk it again? Perfect. All right. You just want to keep your camera on the killer at all times. You can make a little bit of distance here. Keep him on you by being loud. But And, and make sure you get seen. Oh, uh, okay. You got to get a little bit better on actually hitting those... A little, little bit better hitting those, um, hitting this. This is a terrible place to be on this loop. One of my least favorite places to be because it's so easy to get moonwalked and murdered. Um, I don't know if she makes this. Okay, he's going to go for the pallet break. Unfortunately, she doesn't get it. I think an M1 is, is definitely in her future. She does have a window there if he decides to pull up, but I think it's over. It's over for her as well. No dead heart to possibly save her. Sometimes you guys have to remember, if you make a little bit of distance from the killer, like how she got, he lost her a little bit there, what you want to do is maybe make distance. That distance is going to prolong when that pallet goes down and when that second pallet goes down. So you make the distance, make him follow you. It would be more, way more in your, 
your team it'll benefit your team way more if you play like that as well all right so she has a good start here all right she has double windows she needs to figure out where she's gonna go after this though like i would have left this loop looked over there to see if there's anything else i could have used you fake it maybe and then keep going oh unfortunately she hit that locker there was a locker to her right i don't think if and the locker play a lot of times comes with when you where you know where lockers spawn in a lot of it sometimes is just map knowledge she would have known that locker was there she might have had the opportunity to go get in the locker tantrum walk back out but again some of that you can't it doesn't matter if you have windows of opportunity or not that just comes from game sense and hours and hours of playing this game knowing where locker spawns can sometimes populate overall i think the team did a great job hezzy is a fantastic killer who has thousands of hours at, in this game at this point he played billy he played bubba he got an 8k with everything you want to play as chucky tilted sure you did say in fact you were a killer main right let's see what you got big homie all right let's see what he's rocking with death no is that unrelenting wow deer stalker ultimate weapon and friends till the end okay interesting build let's see what we're working with here i need everybody to be on their p's q's a b's and c's as well all right let's see what what does 90 percent survival rate look like on the killer side here um, okay, there's somebody right there to his right. Don't know if he saw it. Nice. He's actually chasing one of the, I would say, strongest survivors in the game for sure. He should be able to get a free hit here. Unless, sometimes, you know, that happens. His power sometimes can be a bit much to control. He runs this side. He's going to vault the window, looks like, for free. Okay, cool. I would go the outside. The same thing that David's doing, I would do myself. I would have waited a little bit over there. Cool. He saw him come through here. Check the front. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, my lord. Unrelenting. No. Why'd you give him a free hit? Oh, lord. Okay. Is he leaving him now? He might be leaving him now. Okay. 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 Three girlies were together. Might have been. Okay. So he takes the one hit on David. Oh, he's actually still chasing him here. So let's see. He vaults this. He doesn't want to chase this. Not the worst idea in the world. If David could find that teammate and heal, that would be huge for them. It looks like Nia. Yeah. Whoa. Unrelenting. No. She would have kept going the long side of the window. She would have been fine. She would have went down this path. She would have been Gucci. She kind of misplayed that a little bit and got a free hit. Does she actually... Oh, fake it. And you would go... It would go such a long way, even with a fake there. Pre-dropping this pallet against this Chucky in my opinion is so much better than trying to loop him on it because he's so tiny he could just get away with working around that pallet forever you know okay he's still chasing i would have waited right by the window and looked out of it if i was her there you go so you see if he's actually coming it's a bit of a check spot deception does he open it he doesn't but he does he does get slammed a bit of a of a not the greatest move by staying there with it let's see oh Oh my god. She runs back to said pallet, loops it, then maybe jumps out the window of the factory one more time. Not a bad idea if she does that. It looks like that's exactly what she's about to do. He breaks that. I would wait right here, a little bit further forward, and then yep, jump this, go to the right, find yourself a better loop. It looks like he's still chasing this butch. At this point, honestly, he should definitely, definitely should have made some distance by now. Um, I mean, that made some distance. He should have chosen a different survivor to follow. Because this, this is not the one anymore. She's not the one. Uh, ooh, she made a bit of a boo-boo here. She vaulted. She could have just ran it straight. Cool, she's checking. Good camera work. Not bad. Um, Got to be careful here. Turn that camera. That's a pretty good spot to stand right there. Drop it. Good drop. That was a pretty good spot. If you decide to, which I almost... Sometimes is not the best idea. But if you decide to sometimes... It's not a bad idea to stop exactly where she stopped so you can see the left side if they're coming with enough time as well as the right side. So great job by her. She comes back to the original building, vaults this window again. He shouldn't be here. Let's hope the team is actually getting gens done. One, Angie, what the fuck are you doing? Uh, two and three. What? Angie, please get on a gen. What are we doing here? There's not even a killer terrorist on you. Hold on. What? I, was Angie the one that went AFK the last time we played? I feel like they were. I feel like they went AFK. Whoever Angie is, I might have to like... Is, was it them? Y'all remember when we played last time? And somebody literally just went AFK? It was? I might have to like ban them from playing again, I'll be honest. Oh my god, unrelenting. Don't worry, don't forget. They do in fact have unrelenting. 
Um, oh my god. Interesting move there. Angie, please don't drop that pallet. Nah. Nah. Unfortunately, she's gonna go to basement here. I would try crawling absolutely away from here. Oh my god, he's gonna maybe go for the save. As this teammate, you don't wanna be here. You don't wanna be in a place where he can possibly... Guys, please don't throw this. That's all I'm asking. She's, she's trying to buy her some time a little bit. All right, he gets hit. I would I would continuously run away. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Free save? Free save? Wake up, wake up, get away. No, 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 no. Run away. You got nothing. What are you staying here for? You might get caught at the window here. Okay, you're good, you're good. Watch, watch, watch. Now you don't know exactly what side he went. Okay, you're good. Keep running straight, keep running straight. He does not hit that in a million years. You're fine. Just get away from basement. Stop looping basement with nothing. Get away. If you go to basement, two gens, no hooks, homie is never going to leave you. Homie is never going to leave you. You should be making distance here. I understand why they're staying here, but like, because they have that one window, but there's no pallets here. It would be better if you just make distance. Oh my, she could have made it too. Oh, this is scary. I have a feeling they might... Okay, thankfully he's still pretty... Just get get away from basement! Oh, they're scaring me here. Oh, Mike, she waited so long! Oh, my lord. Oh, God. They finally got the value they wanted. Oh, my God. He's not gonna make that. He's not... Please! Get away! Let your teammates do this gen! They can't finish this gen if you loop around it. Get away. Run. Run, Wesker. Run. Run. Thank you. Yo, you're scaring me over here. Scaring me. Not bad. Okay, okay. Back on the David. Sometimes, guys, your best move is to make a little bit of distance. There we go. This is what you should be doing a lot of times versus killers. Extending those loops a little bit. Oof. Almost got, maybe almost got a little... A little spin move on him here. I think he makes it to this pallet as well. Again, he's a real tiny man. So you got to be very cognizant of that. He'll get a hit by by being tiny alone, you know? He could get a hit just by being tiny. One little simple moonwalk, and it's a wrap. All right. David's doing an immaculate job. He's showing his light and is not really moonwalking in a fashion that's really confusing David. It looks like he's standing still at this point. Um, what he really should be... He's not working that light. He's trying to get his power back and maybe use it here. Yeah. Looks like he was going to go that way. I feel as if he might be playing on controller and maybe that's what's making it so hard for him to control the killer in the, in the way that he wants to. I would greet it as well. I would even greet it one more time. He's... You could tell this killer again is a little bit new just because of all the respect that he's putting behind every pallet. Oh, shit. He might be dead here. No. Oh, good job. Good job. If it was any other killer that wasn't Chucky who had actually a little bit of speed to him, he would have caught up to him. Uh, he's very blessed that it was a 4.4. He's waiting for his power to then go under the pallet. Great. You make some distance. All right. All right. You, you, you can, like, dodge it by going around a lot of these objects. Perfect. He, he, never, he never even pretended to ready up. You know? Oh, this is scary. This is way scarier. Yeah. Oh, my God. But he swung way too early. Greeted that pallet. This one is scary. This one is scary. You Okay, window. Window for free. He gets the window for free. You can't ever give... If you're going to make a survivor loop a specific direction, loop it so that they can't get a fast vault at a certain window like that. Be very, very cognizant of that. Uh, no one is uh, popping gems during this chase. They, they finally got it. They finally got it. But it was hard. You got to remember... The Nia at one point started running around. Nia started running around the gen that was like 99%. So it was very difficult for them. They pretty much had to go somewhere else. Ooh, she's down. She's down. She's down. They, you have windows of opportunity. There are moments where you want to break away. You got to keep that in mind. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Through the window. If somebody was ready, they might have been able to hit that. Unfortunately, they, they didn't. It's okay, though. Um, I wouldn't even take hits here. I think he's going to blind them at the hook and then unhook immediately. Blind him at the hook and then unhook is, I think, what he's going to go for. She takes a hit. That means David can now go get the unhook. All right. Nia's doing the gen. Oh, my God. He really wants to spin him. I can tell. He might fake this window here. No, he got to go for it. Oh, my God. I'm surprised. Oh, my God. Does he make... He got to fake it. 
Oh, but he didn't fake it well enough. FOV tech. Oh my god, he got spun like a top. He's gonna vault it. I would have vaulted it. I don't think he knows about that window fake there. Okay, he's doing a great job. At, at one point, you gotta run it on the outer side so you can get that fast vault though. Run it, yeah, okay, okay. That's it, you're clear of that area, get away from there. Maybe a teammate could take a hit here or something. Fake this window maybe? Uh oh, that didn't work out for him. All right, fake it now though, right? No, there's not enough. I'm not seeing enough window fakes, especially against a killer that swings a lot like this one. You might be able to get like some sort of value there. If you're injured during this end game, you should be going to a teammate to maybe go heal so that you don't give him another free hook here. Cause two people down right here during end game, even against a very inexperienced killer can be disastrous for the entire team. Um, okay, I think there's not much that David could really do for them here. Whoa! Not all the control on Chucky's power just yet. We do have a flashlight player here. Again, this is what you wanted to try to avoid. She might get it for free! Oh my! She waited too long and then Ada also got in her way. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't even matter. She waited way too long. He was picking up and didn't move. It it didn't it didn't even it didn't even matter at that point if I'm honest. It didn't matter. It didn't matter because of that blunder there. Maybe she gets this one if she times it properly. Go. Oh my god, he spun into it. You keep it on his face. Yeah, they might they might end up I think they they were trying to time that properly, but they kind of they, they kind of had a little bit of a mishap here. You're going to want to get away from this hook. You friends till the end here. No door was done. Don't allow this man to capitalize at this juncture. You guys have played an immaculate game. Immaculate game. Who's he following here? Okay. I don't think he realizes he can go through the window, maybe. I feel like he might not know. Uh, David is going to try to get this save. Oh, he can't anymore. He doesn't have enough time to hit a dead heart either. Oh, my God. Blessed by the gods above. It took precedence as it, uh, uh, like hitting her over him. She still has borrowed time here, so she's still going to be good. Perfect. She can even drop now if she wants to. But start running the long side of this so that he can't catch up to you so easily. Good job. Good job. Let's watch it now from her POV. See what she's working with. You don't really want to blind him. He's not a great one to blind, if I'm honest. Sometimes it's so difficult to blind, blind uh, that killer. Certain killers just suck. It sucks to try to blind them at pallets. Angie, unfortunately, is not running exactly to the door. She, I don't think she knows it's to her left. She might end up going down in the basement, which scares me for this team. Might allow Chucky to come back big time here. Um, okay, she... Oh, my God. I need Angie to get out of here. Go to hang her right and just get away from basement at best, if nothing else. Just run away from basement. I think he popped his power. Did Nia take chase? Shout out to Nia for helping out her teammate there. Oh, my God. Almost got a little... Oh, my God. The door, is it open? Oh, my Lord. She didn't open it. Get out of here. Okay, let's watch it from her POV now. Okay, Angie's healing up. Thank the Lord. Back to Shaq we go, which scares me so much. He's checking to see if anyone's checking the door. You, distance needs to be made in a lot of these sections. I don't think he falls for that again, but let's see. Oh, my God. He did. Okay, he, he opened it again. He, I think he opened it again. And, um... Oh, my God. They finished right on time. Oh, my God. Let's go. Let's go. Really good heal. Um, all right. Let's go find the Kate now. He's going to try to follow Kate here. That door. At least one door is open. I haven't seen where the other door is. Um, is it this way? Ay, 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 ay. She's kind of running aimlessly, and it's kind of scaring me a little bit. She doesn't know exactly where the killer was. Um... David's trying to take aggro here. He takes the hit. Don't forget, David also has dead heart. And homie's a beast. Right? I think he makes this. Oh, he makes this easily. Easily. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. Best to run it back in. And if you have to use your dead heart against Chucky, the best thing to use it against is his actual power. His power, in my opinion, is one of the easiest to dead heart um, by far. It's It's... It's just the most obvious uh, wind up and everything that he does. Not a bad performance from the survivors. Angie, I don't know if I'm gonna let them play anymore. Not because of any other reason outside of they've won they've gone AFK in two matches. Two matches that we've played so far. And you gotta be ready to play. If you're gonna go and make dinner or get food in the middle of a match, that's crazy. Yeah, I gotta be ready to play if you're playing, please and thank you. Um
That sprint burst? Did I not see Dead Art? Yeah, I probably didn't. I'm tripping. All right. Uh, where is this person looking for? What are they looking for here? Are they by the door? If you're by the door... Oh, okay, because they're waiting for their teammate just in case. Okay, everybody's out. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's my fault. I'm looking at 20 different perks. That's my bad. Okay. Is he in his power? He's not even in his power. They, know, they both know they're there. Hey, thank you, Corny. El people. Oh my god, if she dies here? Okay, GG's to these groups. Listen, Ada, don't you don't have to stay at the door and this is you gotta remember, these are freaking These are community matches. You don't have to stay at the door and try to taunt the killer. Please just do me a favor in the future, just walk out. So tell me what did you guys expect from that match? What did you think was about to happen? Or did you think you were about to see some god tier surviving? Or did you already know that possibly it was somebody who maybe had just a bit of lower MMR? Shout out to Tilted actually for being a, a very chill individual, even though it didn't go quite the way they expected it to. I think they took it on the chin pretty well. And um, overall, everyone really did enjoy themselves. I, I love doing those viewers versus viewers custom matches, typically on Fridays. And then we'll do open lobbies on another day. If you guys ever want to join it, please come through to the Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Adonisaurus. If you just look up Adonisaurus in the Twitch search bar, you'll most likely find me there on most days. I stream about five days out of the week around 12 p.m. EST. And we have a lot of fun with the custom matches. I typically try to go in between entertaining as well as um, educational, depending on what exactly is going on. Um, and sometimes I get really into it myself, like, get out, the, get away from basement. Because listen, sometimes I just get hyped a little bit too, and I forget what I'm doing here. And I'm like, sometimes I, I end up rooting for one side where maybe I shouldn't. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. I love you guys. If you did enjoy the video, please do me a favor and drop a like. It'll help me so much. You guys have no idea. And subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future. I can't thank you guys enough for all the support as of late on the Twitch channel as well as on YouTube. Thank you. I love you guys and see you later. Oh, hey, John.